All right, guys, so I've got a kind of a special video today. Um, as most of you know, I surpassed the 1,000 subscriber mark, and I have all y'all to uh, thank for that. I appreciate everyone's support, everyone that leaves comments and hits the like button and all your, uh, you know, sharing of videos and shout outs, things like that. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to Big J. He helped push me uh, to that milestone. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to uh, Richter Knives, um, Georgia Adventure, Tom with Knife Delights. And I think RJ uh, kicked in there and helped me too. Um, and maybe Thrifty, uh, Thrifty Kniffy. I remember he, he I think he might have shared a video or something. So I appreciate that, guys. I really do. And so this is going to be a special one, but I'm going to run through it pretty quick because even if the content's good, I'm still very much an amateur and I'm using my cell phone to shoot these videos. And here lately, no matter how much I clear out of it, it seems like it doesn't want to uh, make a real long video. So I'm already a minute in, and what I'm going to try to do is run through my entire uh, case knife collection, which I've never done before. Um, there's a lot of knives over here, so if there's a little brief story or some kind of little tidbit I can throw in with a knife, I'll do that. But for the most part, I'm going to go through these pretty quick. I've got them in a little bit of an order. The ones I have multiples of, I'm going to save those for the end. The ones like this side buster that I only have one of, we're going to go through those first. So here we go. This is a uh, Autumn Harvest sod buster with a shotgun shell shield, which I'm very fond of. I know Randy with George Adventure is fond of these too. Um, this one here is built pretty well. Great covers. I got a good price on this one, $50. Uh, this was a Christmas gift from my late mother-in-law, so I cherish it very much. Um, I'll go ahead and get this one here. Um, this is a very special knife. This is a uh, small stockman. This belonged to my late grandfather. Um, this knife was given to me after he passed away and uh, he was a preacher. So that's kind of where the cross and everything came from with this knife. But I just, I cherish this knife so much and it reminds me of him. And uh, it's just one I really appreciate. It stays in this little box because I wouldn't want it to fade or anything to happen to it. Get another oddball out of the way here. This is a small fin knife. Uh, this was also a Christmas gift from my sister-in-law one year, which was a huge surprise. But when I got this and opened it up, I was very excited. All right, guys, here's a uh, canoe. This was also a Christmas gift. I used this the other day to open a package and I didn't get the tape residue off of it, but this is a, uh, a natural bone canoe with a red shield, as you can see. This knife came from my in-laws as well. Here is a Buffalo Horn Seahorse Whittler. If y'all have never tried one of these, they're really cool. They got that huge Warncliffe, real thick, rides on the both back springs of the uh, coping and the pin blade. Here is a copperhead that I inherited from my father-in-law. Um, this one here dates back to the 70s. It's a late 70s model. Very nice. Uh, the fit and finish on this older knife is exquisite and it's got a gator snap. Here's a pen blade, a uh, pen knife rather, that I uh, got from Richter the other day. He, uh, I did a knife trade with him for a slip and I guess he started thinking about it and he thought maybe that he got the better end of the deal, which I, I didn't, I wasn't worried about it. But as a token of his appreciation, he thought he'd even up a little bit with me and he sent me this one along. I'm not sure what the year is on this one. Um, I believe this one's from the 80s. I believe it's about an 86 model. Delrin handles. This one's got great action too. All right, here's a uh, 47 Stockman. This is the tractor supply exclusive that a lot of people have gotten. This one here may be the best fit and finish case knife I own. Um, you cannot find a flaw with this knife anywhere. 
And the crazy thing about this one was, it was the display model, the very last one they had. And um, it probably sat there on display being the nicest put together case knife in the whole uh, case. And uh, I happened to be the lucky one to get the last one. And it is absolutely perfect. But there's a 47 Stockman olive jig bone with the uh, barn. And that's the tractor supply exclusive. All right, moving along, another green knife. Also, I just got this from Richter. This was another trade. I made him a, uh, traded him a copper lock that y'all may have seen on his most recent video. That autumn jig bone uh, copper lock that he uh, was showing us was what I traded him for this knife. This is the olive bone. Um, I believe it's a Rogers jig. I could be wrong about that, but this is the uh, back pocket. Big single blade. It's larger than a full size trapper. Really proud of this one too. Great to have this in the collection. I've been carrying this a lot in a J.O. slip and it's just a perfect pair. All right, moving along from there. Here's a large saddle horn that I um, added to my collection uh, about a year or two ago from the outdoor flea market. Got this knife for $65, which was about probably less than half of what you'd find one on uh, eBay for. But this is a big double blade technically a trapper it does have that copperhead uh bolster but it has this upturned cap and uh, that's what gives it saddle horn name that one's a uh, mediterranean bone blue bone here's a big knife here's another harvest orange um or i'm sorry autumn harvest this is the uh, single blade folding hunter as you can see this one's in the same bone as the sod buster with the same shield I've got three of these knives, three different patterns, but uh, this was one I got early on in my collecting and I'm very proud to have it. All right, here's another one that's a little bit bigger than a full size trapper. This is the uh, dog leg trapper. Um, if you look at this, you'll notice it resembles a peanut. It's just a really big version of it. This knife was supposed to have the National Knife Collector's shield on it. I got this knife for like 25 bucks on eBay because it was missing that shield. And um, rather than wait around on the replacement, I just stuck that 45 Colt casing in there. And, you know, maybe one day I'll uh, dig that out and get the right shield for it. But uh, for right now, it doesn't get carried much. It's just sort of a collection piece. This is a nice green bone as well. This knife's put together great. And these dogleg trappers have half stops. If anybody's interested in picking one up, these do have half stops. All right, moving along from there, I've got a couple of slimline trappers. This one's in the dark red. This one has a CV blade. This one's put together pretty well. It's long and slender, so the action is not super, uh, you know, it doesn't have a very strong pull, but the action's still pretty good on this one. And then I added this one to go with it, and this one matches my canoe that I showed you in the beginning, natural bone with a red shield. This one's in stainless. Um, it's put together pretty well too, and the action on this one is similar to the red one. Right here, I've got a medium Texas Jack. This is the autumn, I'm sorry, amber jig bone. Kind of a classic color for case. You can just about get any pattern case knife that you can think of in amber jig bone. This is a two blade model. You've got your larger clip blade and a smaller pin blade for the secondary. This one's in CV. A lot of amber bone knives are CV, but there are some stainless knives, so you can't assume they're all CV, but this one here is. And then here's a little bit older one. This one dates back to the 90s, I believe. Um, like I said, I'm kind of in a hurry, so I'm not gonna open the blades up on all of these. Same pattern here. This is a chestnut bone. It's also in CV. Pick this one up for a really good price on eBay too. I think I only give about $25 for this one. All right, moving along from there, I've got a couple of peanuts. I'm not a big collector of these small knives, but I couldn't pass this one up. This one's a genuine stag. I found this at a flea market, well, kind of an antique store for $30. And uh, so even though I'm not a huge fan of small knives like the peanut, I couldn't pass this one up. So there is a genuine stag uh, peanut. 
And to go along with that one, I have this Harvest Orange peanut that I also inherited uh, when my grandfather passed away. I think he liked these small knives because he was a preacher and he did a lot of traveling. He did a lot of preaching all over the country. And I think he liked to have a smaller knife in his pocket, but he had some pretty good taste because every knife I inherited from him is just a really handsome blade. This knife I got from my other grandpa, and I, I didn't say inherited because he's still around. He just gave me this knife a while back. This is a muskrat. Uh, it's got one good blade, and then the other one he broke off and sort of rounded the broke tip off. Um, I don't carry this one much because, like I said, it belonged to my other grandfather, and I just always want to have this knife. Um, I may get other knives from him, but this one I already have and I just want to take care of it because it belonged to him. Now you can see he really used this one. Um, it's got chrome vanadium blades as well and uh, he carried this one a lot. So for that reason, I kind of cherish it. All right, next, another small knife. I picked this one up for like $18 on uh, eBay. Chestnut bone, uh, small gun stock. The uh, small gun stock has half stops, um, long pull on the main blade, and a regular nail nick on the uh, pin blade there. This one here has a pretty lazy action. I think somebody really used this knife. Uh, it, it has decent snap, I guess you'd say, but it's just got a really weak pull, like the blade, our back springs are just about worn out. This little knife here, another small stockman, my late father-in-law bought this knife for himself not long before he passed away. Um, he wanted him a little fingernail cleaning knife, something just to sit on the coffee table. And he bought this knife. And um, like I said, a few weeks later, he, uh, he passed away suddenly. And uh, my mother-in-law gave me this for the following year for Father's Day. And uh, so this was a knife he picked out and bought. It's a Delrin uh, Handles. Uh, small stockman, like I said. Um, so I cherish this one too. I don't carry it. This one just reminds me of my father-in-law. And I've got a lot of his knives, but the fact that she thought enough to give me this one for Father's Day not long after he passed, it means a lot to me. Here's another one of his knives. This is a, a small copperhead or a mini copperhead, they may call it. Um, this one's in the dark red. This one's got a little bit of age on it. I believe this one's from the 80s. Um, this knife has great little action on it. It's a small knife. It's one ba uh, back spring. And uh, yeah, you've got a clip point blade there for a main blade and a secondary pin. And uh, yeah, we found this one as we were going through the house looking for some paperwork. Um, we found this one in a little box of trinkets and uh, my wife said, here you go. Here's your knife. And so that's where that one came from. All right, I believe that's all the knives that I just have singles of. Um, actually, I showed you my two peanuts and, uh, well, I showed you some pairs already. I'm just, I've got them all laid out over here trying to go through them. But anyway, we'll move on now to the uh, 75 pattern stockmen. These are your larger stockmen. I think Case might have made one bigger than this, but this is the largest stockman I believe you can get in production. This one here is a cranberry bone. As you can see, it's got that classy case script shield. This one's in stainless. Uh, the fit and finish on this one is great. The cranberry bone knives, a lot of them are really pale and just kind of pink looking. I thought this one looked good because it has the, uh, the darker plum color to it. I've got a trapper to match this one too. I'll get to that one in a minute. Here's a... Uh, Another 75 in a blue bone with a red shield. I really like the blue with the red on these knives. Um, this one's also stainless. It's also put together very well. Got this one for like $45, I think. Never been used. It's just, I, even I've never really used it. This knife is just in really great shape. Got a great deal on it. This one here is super special. My buddy Kent Smith gave me this one. Um, he knew I liked purple, uh, and he knew I liked the arrowhead shield. And this one here actually matches a uh, copper lock I have that I'm very, very fond of. This one here is put together just as well as the rest of them. Just a great purple haze bone on these knives. This one's also stainless. 
Just an awesome knife to have right here. Thank you, Kent. Right here is one of my daily users. Um, I actually polished this one up last night while we were watching the football game. As you can see, the blades are patinaed pretty good. Uh, I actually have a little rust on there I probably need to polish off. But um, for the most part, it's just got some patina. It's not really rusted up. Um, but yeah, I polished this one up last night watching the ball games. But this one here gets a lot of daily carry. This one's CV, it holds an edge well. Um, this is one of my favorites right here just for carrying and using. So that got my uh, 75 patterns. Why don't we move on to um, some sow bellies. Here's a single blade, uh, black synthetic sow belly that I actually got uh, from Kent Smith as well. Um, this knife had the uh, army shield in it, which um, I'm not an army veteran, so I didn't want to necessarily uh, present that maybe I was in the army. I didn't want to, you know, I'm not about any stolen vow or anything like that, although I do support them, obviously. But uh, he had the shield fall out, and he was going to glue it in, and I think he might have got it kind of backwards or whatever by mistake, and so... When I got it, I was able to flick that out of there, and I had the guys where I work make me a stainless, uh, polished stainless little rectangle that fits in that hole just right. This knife has a ridiculous uh, blade action. It's got a gator snap on it, centered up perfectly, just a really nice classy carry right here. Fits slim in the pocket. All right, here's another one. I've got four of these. This is a midnight bone. They're uh, pretty attractive knives with the tested XX spelled out in the nickel silver uh, letters there. This knife stainless. Um, this knife here is put together really well. This was an antique store find. Uh, the guy just had a couple of knives and this was one of them. And uh, my wife saw this one and she called me up and said, hey, I'm down here at this antique store down the road. She said, there's a knife up here. I'm pretty sure you're gonna want. So I went up there and haggled with them and got this guy for about 50 bucks. So thrilled to have this one as well. All right, here's another gift from a dear friend that I go to church with. Um, known him all my life, he's a little older than me. And uh, we've gone to church together as long as we've been alive. And so he knew I liked the sow bellies and he gifted me this awesome bone stag sow belly about, you know, about a month ago, I think. And uh, I gifted him back a gun stock, a full size Case, gun, Case Brothers gun stock actually. And uh, so yeah, really cool trade there. Really happy to have this piece. All right, this one here might be a, my grail knife. This is a chrome vanadium, genuine stag sow belly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got some gnarly popcorn stag going on here. Um, just really, really cool. The other side, just as nice. Awesome, CV blades. This is out of the Rancher series. That's the, uh, that's the uh, line of stag handle knives with uh, CV blades, because you don't see that very often. Rather than a shield, they've got it laser etched into the end of the cover there really classy i don't carry this one much because i just want to keep it in good shape all right let's go on to some mid folding hunters this was the very first case knife that i ever put some real pocket time on and i say that because my very first case knife was actually a black synthetic sod buster which is pretty typical first knife that you might get a kid or a kid could afford um i lost it and uh never have found it so it's probably on the bank on the pond somewhere and i'll probably never see it again but this was a first case knife that i actually used and this is a bone stag knife that i have put about 15 years worth of pocket time on and just about worn that bone stag plumb smooth got a little crack there above the shield it's not really hurting anything it just draws in some oil but yeah, I've had this one a long time. I think I got this one probably back in about 04. So it's almost 20 years old. 
All right, here's what the knife is supposed to look like when you get it new, a bone stag mid folding hunter. This one here came from my good friend, uh, Big J. He gifted me this knife as I gifted him the uh, Whiskey Bone Tribal Lock. And I told him, I said, man, you'll never know how special that is to me because it's an exact copy of my first knife. You know, the first knife that I actually used a lot. I said, so it's almost like getting that first knife again to be able to put another 20 years on it. But this knife looks great. Uh, just really great bone stag on this one. Just looks killer. Thank you, Big J. Here's one I got for Christmas last year. Now this is another mid folding hunter. This is a Case Brothers knife, as you can see by that big shield. Um, so the, th the deal with the Case Brothers knives, um, they don't have the same dating system that um, the normal case knives have. So I, I kind of dated this one back to about 07, I believe, but it's kind of hard to figure out because it doesn't use a dot and X uh, system. Y'all excuse these dogs. I, I didn't know they'd get in there carrying on. But yeah, I got this one for a good deal. I think I give like $38 for this knife. And these things, they often run up near $100. So when I saw the price on this one, had to have it. Just a nice red bone, kind of almost an orange, dark red to orange. Now here's one more that I bought the other day and as you see it's missing that S and I contacted Case and it was no trouble. They sent me an S and I was happy. I was going to do a video and install the S on camera and do a video about it and talk about the customer service and I'll be darned if the S wasn't a little bit too big. So they sent me the wrong one. It wouldn't fit the slot. As you can see I haven't cleaned this because at this point I think I'm just going to send this knife to them and let them put the right S in and give it a good spa treatment. But there's another Midnight Bone Mid Folding Hunter. This will be a killer knife once it's cleaned and fixed up. All right, gonna try to hurry. Don't want my phone to run out of uh, storage. If it does, we'll make a part two. Here's another uh, Autumn Harvest Bone with a shotgun shield. This is a Case Rust Lock. Um, as y'all know, I'm not a huge fan of the rust lock. It's a cool design and it's neat looking, but I'm not a fan of this tang. I find it to poke me in the side the way I like to carry it in a belt sheath or in the pocket. I'm just, just not a huge fan of it. But I got this one for a good price and it had that shotgun shell shield, so I had to have it. Got a couple more here. Here's a uh, Bermuda green pocket worn knife right here. I'm gonna kind of speed through this, guys, because I don't want to run out of storage. I'm trying to get this shot in one take. Here's the first case script knife I ever bought. Got this one for about $52, which is a pretty good price. Put together very well. Beautiful red bone, Just it just pops, man. Got that classy case uh, inlay. Let's run through some mini trappers here. Here's a regular two blade mini trapper in genuine stag. Crazy story on this one. The guy had it listed as bone stag. I knew better, um, bought the knife. Sure enough, 5207 genuine stag mini trapper, stainless steel. I got this one in a package deal with that sow belly I showed you a minute ago. This is also a rancher series knife. Genuine stag with the um, single blade Warncliffe. I'll go ahead and open that one up since it's a little different. Really cool knife right here. Half stops on the uh, mini trappers. All right, here's a whiskey ball mini trapper with CV blades and that's also pocket worn. This one's put together well, has great snap on the blades, great action. 